You may think that the modern brake systems are too sophisticated for the average person to work on, but here at Haynes, we take apart brake systems on all the popular models. And we gotta tell you, it's easy. The basic brake system hasn't changed much in 30 years or so. The biggest recent development is the anti-lock brake system, commonly called ABS. An ABS system can get complicated, but you don't need to mess with it just to do the average pad replacement. The disc brakes on your car work the same basic way as the brakes on your bicycle. Although operated by fluid pressure instead of a cable, the pads are pressed against a disc to stop the wheel. These pads wear down with time and require replacement. You can measure the amount of a pad material remaining, which will let you know when the pads need to be replaced. You'll also often hear the wear indicator squealing when the pads need replacing. Now let's get to work. With the vehicle safely on jack stands and the front wheels removed, wash the caliper down with brake cleaner, available at most auto parts stores. Next, siphon off some of the brake fluid from the master cylinder. Be sure not to spill any on your paint or you will damage it and dispose of the fluid responsibly. We're using a commonly available C-clamp to compress the piston and make room for the newer, thicker pads. To get the caliper off, all you usually have to do is remove the two bolts. On this particular model, all we have to do is remove the lower bolt and rotate the caliper up. You're going to want to hold the caliper up with a piece of wire to prevent from stressing the rubber hose. If you have to remove the caliper totally, you want to hang it completely on its own by the wire. Unclip and remove the inner pad and the outer pad. On some pads, anti-squeal compound will have to be applied to the back of each pad to prevent the brakes from being noisy. Install the new pads in the same way the old ones came out. Torque the caliper bolts to the specifications in your Haynes manual. Pump the brake pedal and check the brake fluid level before you drive the car. And that's all there is to it. You need to get a Haynes manual because there is definitely differences among the models and there's other things you need to check while the caliper is off. Our step-by-step -step procedures and photographs will make it even easier.